Welcome to the Daily Motivational Challenge. I'm your host, Julie Wilkes, and each day I'll be uploading a motivational message, a fitness tip, and a challenge just for you. Now it's important to note that while I'm extremely passionate about the advice I give, I by no means am perfect at it, and I'm on a continual journey of self-improvement each day. So with that being said, here's your daily motivational message. It's called, Bless the Broken Road. Country music group Rascal Flatts has a song called, Bless the Broken Road. Now in the song, the lead singer has found the love of his life. And as he's thinking about how grateful and happy he is to have found the love of his life, he looks back at the journey it took to find her. That journey was filled with dead ends and heartbreak and loss and failure and rejection and pain. And as he looks back over that broken road, he again is filled with gratitude because had he not gone through those things, he would have never found what he had today. And he was so happy with what he has found in the love of his life. So it's sometimes in going through the broken road that you come to the right path that makes you the most happy. Similarly, country music singer Garth Brooks has a song called Unanswered Prayers. Now in this song, Garth has also found the love of his life, and as he's looking back at his journey, he realizes that there are many times in which he felt his prayers had gone unanswered. Many times he felt like the things that he really had asked for and hoped for, that his heart's desires, had gone unanswered, and he, you know, had felt disappointment. Well, it was in finding the love of his life that he realized that his prayers had been answered, just maybe in a different time frame or voice than what he was looking to hear. This makes me think of two of my very good friends. They're some of the most amazing women I know, and they've been single. And they're those two people that walk into a room and people wonder, how could they possibly be single? And they wondered the same thing too. Every time they'd start dating someone new, they'd hope and pray that this would be the one. And each time, we would share with them in their heartache and pain when it just didn't work out. Now, I'm happy to say that both of these two have met the loves of their lives over the past year or two. And they are filled with gratitude and joy for their broken road and seemingly unanswered prayers. Because they realized that they needed to walk that road in order to find what they have found today. And their prayers actually had been answered. It was just in the right timing and place that it needed to be. So on to my fitness tip. The idea for today is muscle confusion. And this is a very popular fitness trend. Tony Horton or many other fitness gurus have it out there in the industry right now. And I absolutely subscribe to this idea. If we do the same things over and over again and expect different results, well, I believe that's a definition of insanity. If we do the same things over and over again, we're going to hit a plateau and then wonder why are we not moving forward with our fitness goals. You need to change up what you do on a regular basis in order to stimulate your muscles in different ways and stimulate your mind. Your workouts are not just muscularly or cardiovascularly related, but they also involve your thinking and your focus. So change up what you're doing from time to time, whether it's your intensity or the number of repetitions or the time spent, and you'll see some real breakthroughs in your workout. So finally, for your challenge today, bless the broken road. If you're on a road that seems rocky right now and you're wondering, you're going through maybe some heartache or pain or you feel your prayers are not being answered, I ask you to have patience and be grateful for where you are because you will find your greatest joys your greatest love and your greatest success. But sometimes we have to go through one path in order to find that open road path that we've been looking for. And make sure that you change up your workouts regularly to make sure you stimulate not only your muscles, but your mind. So until tomorrow, I'm Julie Wilkes, wishing you a great day.